hi everyone so welcome to today's class so today we are just going to start the s4 hana okay so s4 hana means it is not a regular classes so today we are going to see what is the changes are there or what is the new things are there in s4 hana compared to sap mm erp system okay or the ecc system so with respect to so we'll be checking what new things have been added to the sap menu so here you can find uh, so let me just hide this one so you can find there is a sap menu okay so there is also we can see so here also let me minimize this one so you can see a sap menu so this is basically you can see this is a s4 hana system okay so this is a s4 hana system and before we are looking into a ecc system so now we will see what are the things have been added to the menu okay in the menu system we'll be checking what are the new things have been added so it will be giving you an overview like what the new things have been introduced in s4 hana so this is basically uh 2021 i believe this is the 2021 version of s4 hana okay so we'll be comparing both of the things and we'll be looking into what are the changes are there so you will be um, whatever things are related to you you can get some uh, idea into that or you can just try to learn something if it is related to us then we will be covering those parts in our coming classes okay so now first of all if we go to the ecc system so you can see here we can see there is a office is there there is a cross application components is there there is a collaboration project then there is a logistics so basically our system will be related to logistics only okay so here inside the logistics we can see there is first section is your material management then we are having sales and distribution then we are having logistics execution then there is a production production process plant maintenance customer service quality management logistics controlling project system sap this is gtm is there so right now this is in s4 hana it is called a gts okay global trading system okay so next one is compensation management next one is agency business next one is environment health and safety so this is basically ehs and there is a central function okay so now let's go to the let's go here so here you can see uh, the same you can see the sap menu you can see a uh, connector for multi bank connectivity office cross application components logistics so we can just expand this logistics so in the logistics you can see first there is one addition is there equipment and tools management okay it is not there so in the logistics of erp it was starting from or ecc it was starting from the material management so now you can see there is a equipment and governance equipment and tools management is there okay so now next one is here you can see governance risk and compliance this was not in the ecc system okay next one is your sales and distribution next one is logistics execution next one is here you can see scm extended warehouse management so in the ecc we are having only the logistics execution inside that we are having all the functions of our wm model but here this thing has been introduced okay scm extended warehouse management so this is all about our ewm thing or ewm node inside that whatever things or functionality are there for ewm you can find it over here so next there is one transport management is there so i believe it was not there in the ecc right so transport management it is not there okay so next we can go to so next one is production it was there production process here you can see there is a advanced planning is there okay then uh, extended service parts planning i'm not sure if it was there uh no it was not there right so after the plant maintenance directly customer service we are having right so you can see there is a extended service parts uh, planning is there then uh, you can see 
the same things like plant maintenance, customer service, quality management, logistics controlling, project system, global trade management. And here this is one more thing has been added. This is settlement management. This is for your SD side. Okay, SD people you can have an uh, get an idea about the settlement management. This is basically uh, whatever the things are there in the rebate management. Uh, I believe that is moved to this settlement management. Okay next uh, you can see product safety and stewardship next you can see the central function so here you can get an overview what are the new things have been added over here okay so now if we go inside the material management node so right now we are we will be looking into the material management so if we go inside that one so let's go to the ecc version so here if we go inside the material management we can see purchasing inventory management excise duty logistics invoice verification physical inventory valuation and there is a mrp then there is a service entry service master foreign trade and customs now this is material master and product catalog now if we go to the s4 hana system here you can see purchasing is there inventory management logistics invoice verification physical inventory valuation mrp is there returnable transport uh, packaging logistics is there okay so this is one you can see over here and uh, service entry seat service master material master uh, there is a nf metal processing is there then there is a ata um, 2000 initial provisioning is there so we can just expand this one okay so this is related to something about the profile okay so profile or some browser or uploading files i believe it is related to that one okay so basically it is for the some uploading function is there okay so this is all about our mm side so you can see most of the things are same for the material management side okay if we go inside the material management so we can see all of the things are mostly remained the same okay so normally what has been changed so basically in the purchasing side only uh, one thing has been added that is i believe it is you all of you know who have uh, already having a s4 hana system or s4 hana server you are going to activate the material ledger but material ledger is normally in the projects or in the real environment that needs to be done by the finance people okay so it is more related to finance than the material master side or material management side okay so that thing has been added only one major modification is there that is a BP okay so basically your BP is um, I believe all of you know that uh, our uh, uh, so if we go inside the purchasing here we can go to the master data so here you are having a vendor okay so similarly if we go to the s4 hana system so you can go to purchasing you can go inside the master data here you can find the vendor but if you expand this one so there is a purchasing so here you can see the mk01 mk02 it is showing over here but if you click on it okay it will redirecting you to transaction bp as the transaction mk01 is obsolete okay so in the hana system we don't have this mk01 fk01 xk01 or mk02 fk02 xk02 things we don't have it so we are having the transaction bp for creating the vendor okay so similarly for your so bp transaction is normally if you go to let's say we'll go to if we go to bp so normally this is a business partner so business partner you can create as a person or an organization or a group okay there inside that one you can define it uh, as if it is a supplier or let's say if it is a customer 
you have to define it over there so that is a later part we will not going into the details of it so in a later classes we will be looking into the business partner on a detailed basis okay so these are some of the major changes that we can see for our mm side okay so most of the people they will say as a uh, material ledger yes material ledger is mandatory if you are practicing but in the real working it is more related to your finance side finance reporting side because they will be doing the costing like met it is most related to the material costing okay so that part is handled by the fi people so they will be doing all those things like how to activate a material ledger and uh, all those things will be done by the finance people okay so that's it for today okay so if you have any doubts or if you have any questions or if you have let's say any suggestion that we have missed something so you can just let me know in the comment what thing we have missed so that we can cover those things in the coming classes okay and uh, that's all for today so we will be continuing with the regular classes of business process as you seen as you have seen there is nothing has been much changed for the material management side or logistics side there is not much changes are there so everything is same okay so what things have been changed so we will be covering those things and with that we will we will be continuing with the ecc class uploading we will be doing that one so there is not much changes in the s4 hana but yes there is a demand for s4 hana because there is a timeline for ecc to end and s4 hana to uh, be on full fledged uh, side or full fledged version so everyone is asking for the s4 hana so there are a couple of more changes are also there like uh, here if we see so let me just so here you are having there is a fury is there okay so there is a fury is there and uh, one more thing there is a um, lmtc is there okay so uh, basically uh, that is your legacy migration uh, tool for your uh, data uploading okay so basically it is a uh, like it is a different version of you can say it is a different version of your uh, uh, lsmw you can say okay so uh, so that is a new thing that has been added so those things you can just see or you can look for it or let's say we will be covering those classes in coming time we can see those points what are the new things have been added okay so fury apps is a major development so fury apps you can um, in the fury app so you don't have to um, be in front of a system okay you don't have to be in front of a laptop or desktop or anywhere so this can be accessed from anywhere through the internet so through tablet or uh, through mobile phone also you can access this one okay only you need to have the user id and password needs to be created so if we click on this one you can see it is opening in the browser okay you can see it is opening in the browser if i provide the user id and password it will open in the browser not in the sap gui okay so this is the major development so we can use the sap without any software also we can use it okay directly in the website or web also we can use it so this is the advance uh, or this is the um, let's say benefit for the end users who are the end users are there or or for the companies also okay so they don't uh, need to have a worker to sit at a place and do their activities so uh, uh, let's uh, 
take an example let's say you are having a warehouse so there you don't have to entry in the uh, system and then you have to go and you have to do the manual activity let's say there will be picking will be there there will be movement of uh, goods will be there so you don't have to sit in front of a system and do it and after that you have to go and manually do those kind of things so um so rather doing that one directly you can have a let's say um, a device will be given to you let's say any kind of uh, mobile devices will be given to you with respect to that directly you can just enter uh, you can see so there are many things are there there will be task will be there there will be resource will be there resource monitor will be there there are various things are there so that is a later part we'll be seeing it in later part so they can directly access those from the point of where they are doing the packing unpacking or where, where they are moving the product so directly from there itself they can do their activity and they can uh, let's say pick the product or they can um, uh, let's say store the product okay or they can pack or unpack the product directly they can do at the time point where they need to do and with respect to that at that um, place itself they can do their activity in sap also okay so this is a benefit for the sap users or sap end users okay so that's all about for today's class we'll meet up again tomorrow with some other topics or some other classes so till then bye bye and take care if you have any questions definitely ask in the comment section if you want to um, mention anything also you can mention in the comments okay so that's it for today bye bye and take care